<clears throat> Hi, this is SuperTestNet, and today I'm going to show you Bitcoin chess. First thing I'm going to do is hit submit here, and that gets does a couple of things. It gives me a Bitcoin pub key, it gives me a Bitcoin address, I'm going to send some testnet coins to. In fact, why don't I do that right now? Send the testnet coins, traffic lights. Uh, there are no traffic lights. Skip. Uh, there's a traffic light. Uh, okay, so it gave me some... I'm going to get some testnet coins from that. It gives me a Bitcoin pub key. I have to give this to my opponent, who's over here. He's going to put that in there. And that gives him a Bitcoin pub key, which he shares with me. You do that out of band in something like, I don't know, um, Discord, maybe. Uh, and he's got a Bitcoin address. He's going to need some testnet coins. Okay, so we both should be uh, relatively funded. Um, and it also, uh, one of the things this game features is a state update thing. And this is it. This is the game querying um, Block Cipher, which is a, a Bitcoin Explorer, uh, blockchain explorer. This is querying Block Cipher every um, sixty seconds for information about the latest state of the game. Um, so that's what that's going to do. Uh, I am going to make a move, and first thing I'll do is um, I'm going to move this guy right. Um, how does this work? I think I'll move him right there. Okay, so my move was added to Bitcoin's mempool. That's good. I'm going to go for a fool's mate in this. Uh, and to do that, this guy is going to have to move um, here. Okay. Then this person is going to have to move there. Okay. Uh, and very quickly, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to have this other person checkmated. Um, but... One of the features of this um, of this chess game is that all of the moves are put on Bitcoin's blockchain. And by putting them all on Bitcoin's blockchain, you can actually um, follow along as an outside observer. So I'm going to show you how that looks um, by getting these two pub keys. This is White's pub key. I've got another tab open here with an empty chessboard. This is in view only mode. I'm going to plop that into there. Uh, plop this guy's pub key into here and hit submit. And this gives you the initial state of the game, as well as buttons for seeing the previous and next moves and information about them. And this um, this view only mode is only getting information about the game um, from the blockchain. It's actually querying the blockchain for information about this stuff. So I'm gonna do a checkmate now. Boom. Uh, that's the fool's mate, and now this player has no valid moves, so, and his, and he's in check, so he's in, he's in checkmate, although he will only learn that in another 43 seconds. Um, but yeah, now, I'm going back to this one, this tells you a little bit about what's happening here, so like, uh, you can see all of the current available moves by, on the, on the part of the white player are known. Um, you know, he can move his, his pawn here or here, that'd be moving A2 to A3, or A2 to A4, and so on and so forth. All the pieces that he can move are known and advanced. And the available move set is going to change every time he makes one of his moves, right? So this, the, uh, well, this is now talking about what Black can do. Black can move one of his pieces from one of these pieces down. Uh, and let's just see what he did. I'm gonna just follow, you know, that that's the, that's the way the game looks. Um, oh, look, now this guy knows he's in checkmate. I don't have any implementation, I don't have any logic implemented for actually um, like the game saying game over or anything now that he's in checkmate, but he is. And so, yeah, none of his pieces can actually, like if I try to move one now that it's his turn, you know, he can't do anything. So he's in checkmate. So I guess that's kind of the way of recognizing that is if you're in check and you can't do anything, you're in checkmate. Anyway. Um, so every time this, uh, this, uh, I click next move, it's actually going to change on here and show you like, everything that happened in the game. Um, but, oh yeah, notice, yeah, black, it's now, he, he, white no longer has any moves, any available moves, because he's in checkmate. Um, but let's go back to the beginning, and I want to show you some stuff. So, when he made his first move, he moved his Bitcoins into a, um, into a Bitcoin address, which was created using this information. Um, so he started out with, um, his Bitcoin address being, um, uh, being derived from this. Uh, his his starting pub key, that's where he had his money in, and he these are all of his available moves. 
So if you take each of those uh, and represent them as a hexadecimal string, uh, that, that is a 32-byte hexadecimal string, it looks like this. Like A2 to A3 would look like this. A2 to A4 would look like this. Uh, and what he does is, uh, when he picks a move, he tweaks his, origin his starting pub key with one of these moves, um, with one of these 32-byte strings. In this case, uh, since he moved, which one did he move? He moved F2 uh, to F3. The one he tweaked was um, was this one. He used this uh, F2 to F3. He used this tweak. And when he tweaks his public key by means of this um, uh, uh, hexadecimal string, the result he gets is this public key, this Bitcoin public key. And that has a corresponding address, which is F2 to F3. That is F2 to F3 right here. So what he did well then was he sent his money from his starting address into this address. So if I go look that up on a block explorer, like blockstream.info slash testnet, type that in there, it's going to show that he received money from his starting address, um, which, was, which is this one. Uh, and Or no, uh, his starting address was right here. He received money from his starting address, and then it went into this address, WYJ, which if we go back here, WYJ, rep and that represents F2 to F3. Now, his opponent saw him do this. Black saw him do this because Black also knows all of his possible moves. Black also can compute all of these possible tweaks, and he knows player one's, he knows white's pub key. So he also checked, like, he, he computed the tweaks for all of these different moves, and then checked the blockchain to see which of these addresses got the money. And he saw that the one representing F2 to F3, which is down here, um, yeah, F2 to F3, he saw that that one is the one. So he was like, okay, that's his move. And that's how he, that's how, that's how he was able to determine on here what, what move he got. Um, and then he did the same thing. Like he he has a set of moves that were available to him, and so he made he made one of them and he sent his money to the corresponding Bitcoin address, which this guy pinged and saw on the blog on the mem in the mempool, and then uh, and then figured it out. Um, so you can actually see the Bitcoin transactions that got them to each of these each of these positions in here, and you can see how tweaking works. And I think this is a great educational tool for learning how tweaking works on Bitcoin's blockchain. And it also lets you play chess and have cryptographic proof of who won and who lost. Uh, and, and you can use this thing to like follow along and see, you know, like this is when he got into checkmate and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of neat. All right, that's it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, you can check out my GitHub for uh, the link to the code and all, all of that good stuff. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.